NFT stands for non-fungible token. Non-fungible means that something cannot be exchanged for another item because it's unique. For instance, one piece of art is not equal to another. Both have unique properties. Fungible items, on the other hand, can be exchanged for one another. For instance, one dollar or Bitcoin is always equal to another. Okay, but what is an NFT? Before that, if you are new to this channel, welcome to Crypto Explainer. And don't forget to press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for instant notification. NFT are tokens that live on the blockchain and represent ownership of unique items. Why is that useful? Well, tracking who owns a digital file is tricky because it can be copied and distributed effortlessly. So how can you prove who's the original owner when everyone has an identical copy of the file? And an NFT solve this problem. Imagine that you made a piece of digital art, essentially a JPG, on your computer. You can create or mint an NFT out of this. The NFT that represents your art contains a bit of information about it, such as the unique fingerprint of the file, a token name, and the symbol. This token is then stored onto a blockchain, and you, the artist, become the owner. Now you can sell the token by creating a transaction on the blockchain. The blockchain makes sure that this information can never be tampered with. It also allows you to track who's the current owner of a token and for how much it has been sold in the past. It's important to note that the artwork itself is not stored within the NFT or the blockchain, only its attributes such as the fingerprint or hash of the file, a token name and symbol, and optionally a link to a file hosted on IPS. More about that in this video here. Now here's where NFT become weird. When you buy an NFT that represents artwork, you don't get a physical copy of it. Heck, most of the time, everyone can download a copy for free. The NFT only represents ownership, and that is recorded in a blockchain so nobody can tamper with it. Some say that NFT give you digital bragging rights. And to make it even weirder, while the token owner owns the original artwork, the creator of the NFT retains the copyright and the reproduction rights. So an artist can sell his original artwork as an NFT, but he can still sell prints. Aside from digital art, NFT can also be used to sell concert tickets, domain names, rare in game items, real estate, and basically anything that is unique and needs proof of ownership. I hope you found it interesting, and if you did, consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.